friends, it's Miss Emily from the Main Library and I've got a fun craft today. Uh, you know, this is around Easter time, so this is a little craft that you can do with some of those extra jelly beans you maybe have lying around. So today we are going to be making jelly bean watercolor paint and it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a great craft to do on a rainy afternoon and it's a great way to do some um, science and counting in the same time. So I'm gonna open my bag of jelly beans. What you need besides jelly beans, you're gonna need as many uh, cups as there are colors for the jelly beans, some paper, some hot water, not boiling hot, but like warm to the, from the tap, and some paint brushes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to sort my jelly beans by color into these cups. This is a great time to have your kids practice color sorting and also counting. I'm not gonna put too many jelly beans, maybe seven or eight in each one. So, green. Two, three, orange, one, yellow, one, two. Okay, so I've got a good amount of jelly beans in each of my glasses. I've separated them by color. I've counted. Um, I ended up using more than the amount that I thought just because these jelly beans are a little bit tinier than I'm used to and I want to make sure I get a really bright, vivid color. Um, so if you're doing this at home, this could be a great time, you know, to ask your kids to make some predictions, kind of put some science in there. What do they think is gonna happen? How are we gonna paint with jelly beans? Um, ask them to make some observations. It's a great way to just get a, you know, their brains working, some discussion. So the next step is I'm gonna get some hot water. Um, I'm gonna add it to the cups. I don't want it to be boiling, but I do want it to be warm from the tap. So now I have my hot water. Uh, Grownups, I would recommend doing this part just because there is some warm water. I'm gonna pour it into the jelly bean cups and see what happens. Gonna give it some time, but immediately I'm starting to see the water turn the color of the jelly bean. And if you do this at home, you can have your kids really look. They may start to see some of the coating dissolving. They may see the jelly beans turning white. You could turn this into, you know, what talk about what jelly beans are made of and why the color is dissolving. Um, or you can just make it a simple craft. So I'm gonna give it a few more seconds. I may even use my paintbrushes to stir just to agitate a little bit more. The colors aren't gonna be super strong. Um, it's just a fun experiment at home. Start stirring, stirring. Give it a little bit more time. I am seeing those jelly beans turning white and I am seeing the colors of the water really turn pretty vibrant color. So the last step is to just paint a picture. Uh, something springy, whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna draw some flowers. Well, I'm Miss Emily, and thank you for joining me for another easy craft. I hope you guys do this at home, and I hope you have a great day.